What's up guys, it's Hubs, and this video is going to be about uh, my new arena team using the new spheres that came out. So they're, eight, they're called Aegis Cloaks, and they basically made Rainbow Teams and Arena really strong again. So that first unit, if you didn't see, was my Anima Loden using a Magic Ore. This is a Guardian Ophelia using an Aegis Cloak. Then we got a Reese, uh, Breaker Reese using an Aegis Cloak. And Reese can be interchanged, I would say, with Cygnus. Should be cool, or Saren. Uh, Breaker Lyra using a Dandelga. Dandelga is the Vargas Legend Vortex Sphere. And a Libra at BB9 because her SBB is single target and you don't want that. And we've got an Anima Farlon at SBB10 using a Masamune. So Dandelga, first of all, increases HP and attack by 30% and is a small fill to the Brave Burst Gauge at the end of the turn. And Masamune is a boost to attack and defense by 75% for the first two turns. Aegis Cloak, if you didn't know, it's an OP sphere um, that you can craft through the Leon's Deception Vortex Dungeon right now. And it increases defense by 330% for the first two turns. Yes, 330%. And then um, increases BB fill rate as well. So also the way I set up my party, um, you can see I put load in the top left corner. It's actually incorrect how I have my Lyra right now. Um, the order should be load in, Reese, Farlon, Lyra, and then Ophelia. Um, and it's because units actually have a certain probability of when they will attack a, a certain unit or use a Brave Burst. It's like 60% chance to attack or use Brave Burst if enemy unit is lower than 50% HP, something like that. So you actually get maximum effectiveness in that order. So I'm going to say that order again. It's Loden, Reese, Farlon, Lyra, and then Ophelia at the end. And that's going to give you the maximum efficiency for your team. Also, so I'm going to explain, um, my Loden is using, using a Rainbow Ore, and, or sorry, Rainbow Ore, where did I get that from? A Magic Ore. And that's because I really want to guarantee that my Loden has max Brave Burst. So alternatively, I could also give um, Loden an Aegis Cloak as well to make sure he stays alive. But the reason for that is because you can see right now, my Loden basically always has full Brave Burst at the end of a turn. And if he activates his Brave Burst, it doesn't actually attack the enemy units. But what it does is it fills all of my other units' Brave Burst gauge. So if I have Loden and he activates his Brave Burst gauge, I'm almost guaranteed to have my other four units at full Brave Burst as well. So that was basically two quick runs. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys can make a arena team like this as well now. I'm going to check my ranking now, actually. So, let's see. I'm not even close to the top of my friends list. I'm like number 12 in all my friends. I'm getting closer to the top. I, I'm climbing some ranks sometimes, but I don't think I'll ever catch up to the top 30. I'm about 100,000 points behind. I'm rank 58 right now. Yeah, but anyways, that is it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.